Do you want to know what I recently realized about myself? You know how I like I've never minded going to the cinema alone. Mm-hmm. I think I've realized that I actually prefer going to the cinema alone. Ooh. Like the other day, I was making like I was actively trying to get away from going to cinema with somebody. Someone you like. like? As an as a human being? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone you like romantically? No. Oh. How is your heart doing in Canada? <laughs> what? How's your heart in Canada? How's your heart it's, doing? The same way it was doing in London. How was it doing in London? I think it was defrosting and then, you know, making some new connections. <clears throat> this is <laughs> Have you pulled anyone so my from heart was, Canada? My, my heart was frosted before. I think it was frosted over. Wow. Okay. Well, this is not the episode for whatever you think we're about to get into. I um, literally just asking a question. <laughs> you mentioned going on a, to a cinema, which is usually a thing that people do as a date. And my well, that, the whole point of that was that was was that, no, I prefer to go alone. That was the yeah, whole point of Yeah, but the... then it led me to ask if you prefer, like if, you know, like what your heart was up to recently. Well, my heart's been up to nothing yeah. recently. I've been, have you seen the Pop and Virginia schedule over the last three months? I've been very busy with this. Busy people make time. Make time for I've your also, heart, thank you. I've also been rewatching Whiplash and you're like, you can't Shut have up. those. Make, make time for your. I don't. I don't care about whatever stupid <laughs> film bro joke you want to crack. Make time for your hard bank. Uh, thank you. Thank you, you for coming watched, to my TED talk. You watched a lot of as well. You learned the same lessons I learned. I didn't learn uh, that lesson. <laughs> no, not the lesson I learned. The lesson I learned was be better. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's let's talk about. Okay. Actually, hmm. He's a little bit. He can do everything. He just didn't try hard enough. He could have had a good love life and been the best musician in the world. I don't know if that's true, but what are we going to Can we just talk about industry? We can. I just want you to take care of your heart, but that's all. Thank you. Thank you. But it will, it will have to wait. Actually, speaking of heart, so I was just sure I was going to say this, but something hit me last night before I went to bed. Um, I just want to like, I guess, where's my camera? Yeah. I just want to like thank everyone that listens to this. Because I was like, why are you guys listening to this? Like, you and I shared a joke about how we need to be better at analyzing this, these shows. But like, I started this podcast just to recommend shows I like or like talk about shows with TV with my friends, not necessarily about anything that I thought my opinions weighed or mattered more. So for everybody that listens and takes our opinion as like if not fact but like a guiding light or which is out of I don't know just thank you I was just like oh that really hit me before I went to bed last night and let's talk about industry that's so fucking funny <laughs> we're so different because I'm like of course you should listen to me I'm like really good at this <laughs> but go off I mean I'm the duality of man I can think I'm really good at it but also feel like nobody should listen to me Nah, because nah, I, should, I don't deserve that. I don't know. We put in a, we put in our ten thousand hours, right? I think right. we have. We I have. Think we really have. No, but um, at the risk of, or rather, to avoid a uh, undercutting that very emotional moment, I just want to say thank you for everyone that listens and actually churches our opinions, and even people that push back. And like, yeah, like no one opinion is correct, or, uh, or rather, is totally correct. So thank you very okay. much. For listening and yeah, let's talk about industry episode three. Oh, by the way, I need to be really kind of like less loud as norm than normal. So yeah, no shouting in this intro. Let's talk about industry. Hello and welcome back to the popcorn for dinner podcast where we are proud to say that we never watch porn unless it's directed by women. I'm Bankole Mokwede, and today we are learning the basics of Greenwashing 101 and joining me to discuss the hilarious third episode of Industry's third season. He's the talk of the conference. He's the full package. 
8 a.m. Jump in, so I stop shouting. Um, I can't deal with your bedroom voice right now. Thank you. <laughs> well, I feel I like I should reduce my own a bit. Like, are we going for? Are, are we doing sultry for sultry? No, I just 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 for the intro. I'll talk normally, but I couldn't like okay. shout because there are literally people five feet away and then so. But you can. I would never censor you. You can go sultry if you want to go sultry. No, I can only match your energy. I'm here to match your freak, Bankale. Ooh. Ooh. Speaking of my heart. So, um, what? <laughs> how are you doing, Ayo? I'm good. Have you ever been to a sauna, Bankale? I, I have not been to a sauna. I think it's it's actually quite an interesting experience. The last time, okay, like, no, not the last time, but once I went to, this, to a sauna with my partner, and we struck up a conversation with the owner of Mia Lounge. We were all in our underwear. It was crazy. Yeah. How, how packed was the soda? It was just the four of us. <laughs> it was me, my partner, the owner of Mia Lounge, and his partner. This sounds like a scene. Oh. It was weird. Look, <laughs> life is fun, man. Go to more saunas, Bankley. <laughs> Okay, that's the takeaway from this episode. Good to more on us. Even though it didn't necessarily break. work out for Robert in this case, but how do you know? I, I guess it didn't get not it. work out for him. Yeah, we'll get into it. Um, but quickly, Paul, get to everything. So, guys, as always, this is your first time listening on the podcast. Please rate and review. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. Um, please follow us on social media. It's popcorn underscore dinner on Twitter and popcorn for dinner underscore pod on Instagram. Subscribe to our newsletter. We have some really fun ideas coming up. And if you missed our Harper-centric issue that came out a few weeks back, if you still subscribe, I'll send that to you. Um, and yeah, our weekly industry precap episodes are still going strong. So if you have any questions about the show, please send them. I will look to get them answered there. Um, okay, industry episode three is titled It. It is written by co-creators Mickey Down and Conrad K. And it's directed by Zoe Whitock. So... Firstly, we're talking about the episode titles and my random idea about whether they're related to films. Mm-hmm. Um, this one gets its title from the silent film It, which Robert and Eric are watching in the hotel room. Um, in it, uh-huh. a character says, so basically this is the movie that kind of popularized the phrase It Girl, right? It came out in like 1927. So... In it, the a character, the scene that we see, a character says, I've inspected all the lady employees and not one of them has it. So my question to you is, I think the obvious conclusion here is that this episode shows that Harper, right, she has it. First of all, do you agree with that? That her Harper has the it factor? Yeah. Okay, so my question then goes, do you think it also applies to Yasmin? Or do you think the episode, that title is just about Harper? I, I wouldn't even say it's about any of them. But okay, I so think who, I think Harper is the it girl of this show. I guess so who, I don't know. I haven't think thought about who, it. Who would you think is about if it's not about either of them? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. Let's let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Okay. Okay. But yeah, so I think just the fact that that came from this movie that talks about a girl, a woman having the it factor and the it girl, and I was like, okay. I'm, our two main characters are women in this show. And so I was like, okay. And this episode kind of shows both of them coming to their own, I guess. But yeah, let's talk about the episode. Um, what do you think about the episode? I liked it. Just liked. So that was a bit Just of liked. a downgrade from the first two. Little bit. Little bit of a downgrade. I but don't know if this is like okay, go ahead. It's the first one that I felt it's the first time this season where I felt like we were able to actually take a breath. Mm-hmm. Like everything wasn't happening, so I don't know if yeah. it's the reaction, or, you know, coming off the first two episodes where everything was happening at the same time, mm-hmm. uh, then to this one, which is a fairly standard episode of television. I feel like the normal amount of things that should happen in one hour <laughs> happened, but maybe we've been spoiled, <laughs> as opposed to everything happened. <laughs> as opposed yeah. to everything. Um, I think maybe, and this might be recency bias because I wrote this note immediately. I finished watching the first episode and I didn't investigate it further just to keep it fresh. But I feel like for the exact same reasons you've just mentioned, this might be my favorite episode of the season. Mm. 
I really, yeah. really, I really enjoyed this episode. Like, I really liked this episode. And I went through the first two without mentioning Succession. But I have to hear. Because. Um, <laughs> yes, because the first half of this episode was so Succession. It was. It was very. Like, it was. And I have a question, which I hope I get to. Once, it, it, like, it's a field trip episode. Mm-hmm. All the trappings of extreme wealth, like you mm-hmm. see them going from a private car to a private jet, and like it's like a very succession in that way. Mm-hmm. And there's this even this thing that has some of the best succession future episodes have, um, where I mean, quite plainly in this episode, it's they're trying to access if everything is normal when there's a ticking clock about an article that's about to come out, yeah. Right? So, you think about the episode where, um, when they were in the conference, similarly, where the episode about where the article about. Um, the workers yes. yeah. came out. No real people in RPIs. No real person involved in succession. As it kind of had that vibe, right? And then the second mm-hmm. half, literally from the moment of the of the panel, it then becomes like industry at its best. And in my, in my opinion, yeah, yeah. yeah. I so I was it, like, this generally just has everything I want. Like, it's, fair enough. Yeah, okay. I I really like this episode. I, I think my my best episode of season so far. Um. Do you, my question is, do you think, I think we've kind of, we did this a bit in season two and we might have the same answer, but like, just going back, someone who just rewatched season one, me, was this in the show's DNA? Like this kind of excursion episode going to a climate conference in Switzerland, having this kind of like, I don't uh, know. <laughs> I don't know about season one, but episode three of season two was very similar. It was very similar. Was very similar. I saw that one was more. I guess it's international, but it's not really international. If you get what I mean, it's it's Wales. Yeah, it's Wales. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a Welsh excursion as opposed to going out with the Switzerland episode three. And even just now, when you were talking about why you, this was, you just like this episode, it actually sounded very similar to what I said two years ago about season two episode three. Because I remember not liking episode three as yeah. much because one and two were so high. We're so hot. And then, yeah. Yeah, and then three. So maybe I've grown in two years, but no. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, again, I think because season one is, is and I don't want to keep on harping on this, because season one, I realized season one is very much like, it just follows a graduate. Like, it, the plot lines of the first four episodes of season one are, the first, first your first few days at work, finding an apartment, um, living with your new roommates, have, having your first quote-unquote mm-hmm. date, and then her birthday. Like, it's very kind of like what happens in your first six months after uni. Fair. But then this one was just like now we're in the business world, like from season two, obviously. And then this season is just like it's really just this episode really just like I was like, oh, this is really a step up in what was established in season two. Hmm. Thought just crossed my mind, and I haven't yeah. rewatched season one, so feel free to mm-hmm. interrogate this. Is season one more a BBC show? <laughs> and then That's two or three are more uh, HBO shows. Are more HBO shows. That's the perfect way to put it. And season one, and this is not, I don't think this is correct, but it's something I thought has been flowing through my head. I feel like the show has, let me put it this way, the show is still, I think, essentially British at its core. I don't think there's anything not British about this show. But it's become more American as the seasons have gone on. Interesting. And maybe that's the HP influence. I think, one, it might be what you're saying about H- being a HBO show. That yeah. might just be a subconscious thing. But I also think we just have more American characters. Characters. That's I, I noticed that. Right. And like there's there are scenes where it's just three American three American characters just talking to yeah. each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like so um even this this season, this episode, um, Frank Wade would probably have been a British actor in season one. Right, that's the the tech guy that was on his name Frank Wade that released that really published the hold on the oh movie. the analyst yeah the analyst yeah I can't remember his name he's a very popular Asian American actor it will come to me at some point okay. um but yeah as in like, someone like that would have been a British character and actor in yeah. season one but in this in this in this episode he's American just kind of little things again I I'm not knocking this is not like I still think it's a very, very British show, but I think it just goes in line with your season one being a BBC show and season yeah. two and three becoming more HBO, which I have no problems with. Anyway, um, okay, so 
before we, because we're going to talk about something, I just want to run through some of my quick random notes before we go into like the bigger sections. Mm-hmm. I have on my, I have on my notes, fuck, I'm such a child of Sorkin. I love smart characters saying jargon that I don't understand to one another. <laughs> which which part was this about? This was during the end of their meetings. So Petra, when Petra and Harper are meeting with the Amer- the young American guy. Oh, okay, okay. And they're just saying things to each other. On rewatch, I understood it because they're talking about her performance track record, and she's yeah. like, "That is a formality." Once things are signed, and he's like, "No, people need to see it before," and everything. But I was just like, the way they were just looking, I was like, "Oh." I really do love Sorkin. Like Sorkin has actually <laughs> trained me into what I like. Cause I was like, I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm, I'm so on board. Like I love seeing smart characters be smart, even though I don't understand what they're talking about. Um, but on that scene, and we're going to talk about this again later, but I feel like that should have been Petra's first red flag because the ease at which Harper just gets this, or, or even brings up the idea of oh, doing taking the screenshot. It is, like, I don't think that's legal. I'm just like, yeah, immediately. Did you know I it was just, winter? So, so they said winter. Yeah. Which yeah, it's winter. I didn't un, know it was winter. Unless, so unless our uh, thing. Oh, by the way, his name is Joe Kim Booster. Ah. Uh, um. So unless our uh, estimations were so wrong, or they've jumped like six months with between episodes, because she did say she had GCSE exams. She did. Yeah. And when's the latest to have GCSE? June, <laughs> July. And, but we do know that his locker period was two months and that's already elapsed. Yeah. So we know it's at least two months and since they the end wouldn't of season do, two. You do two. quarterly you do quarterly earnings. Okay. So, so start of it's quarter at end of, least three months have gone by. Yeah. Okay. At the start so, of the quarter you do your earnings. So maybe their winter is what? No, it's Switzerland. November. It's not like Christmas. It's def- yeah, it's definitely not the new year. No. So it's stu- October maybe. Yeah, but that threw me when Eric and Robert got to the hotel. Well, but if you by going by your three months thing, then it's not too far fetched, then yeah. Because if it's if let's say she had just hit episode two was June, three months later is what September, yeah. Let me think going into going into October, yeah. August, we're in August now, beginning of August is earnings season, so do another three months from here now. We're three months from now? Yeah. That'll be November. So I think it's probably November. So you're saying it's taking like, it's been like six months since. Yeah. Not six months, maybe like five months since. it can't be three. Ep- At least I don't think it's three. Five months since episode two is insane. Okay. Um, another, another random note, Kit Harrington, TV star. Actor. Like people are making, we're making a big deal obviously about lack of movie stars, but like, He's a TV star. He's like, <laughs> he's moving with the assurance that like, he knows how to play around in this medium. And this is also, my this take is peppered by the coverage that he's, or rather the show is getting because of his involvement. Mm. And I'm like, people want to tune in because Kit Harrington's on Harrington. the show. Fair. That's great. Kit Harrington has Stan accounts on Twitter. He has it. Yeah. <laughs> well, well done. <laughs> Maybe the episode was about him. <laughs> so I was just like, he's like, don't sleep on the TV star essentially. Like he might he might they might not have movie stars, but like he's definitely a TV star. He's definitely like someone that you can in every scene you can see that he knows that he's the most important person in this scene. Mm-hmm. Even if his character is not in that, like he's moving with that assurance that like mm. I am a TV star. You want to look at me and you want to watch what I'm doing and what I'm saying, and the camera is gonna stop for me because I'm giving this monologue. <laughs> um Okay, well, just a quick random th- um, notes. Jesse's in jail. I'm sure you had. Jesse Bloom is in jail. A cushy jail, but yeah. <laughs> he's cushy in jail. jail. Working on his golf swing. What do we think um, he did? What do we think he did? What do we think he didn't do? Like, it's... Hold on to this, but okay. is this... Could that be a warning for Petra? We'll talk about that in a second. Um... um yeah, he can't done anything. Like, I think what the finale showed us is that he's probably not. He's not the most ethical. To, yeah, and it's probably not the first time he's done it. So that's fair. Yeah, they probably like the way they describe it. They probably found something minor to get him on, mm. like tax charges or whatever. Gus is working for a VC firm in California. 
deforestation ventures. Uh, <laughs> Robert Sobriety, is that just not a thing anymore? He's just not doing drugs. Yeah, because he's drinking in the pub. He's drinking in the pub. He has the guy. He's even drinking at the end when he has the guy to buy me a drink. Buy as me well. a drink. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's just not drugs, or maybe, maybe he's not, not sober drugs. anymore. We'll see. I mean, I don't think that's possible because his actions, at least so far, do not seem that erratic. I don't think the show would ever want to tell a story of like, yeah, you can turn on and off mm. when the addiction hits you. So mm. maybe he drinks, but he doesn't do drugs. And again, I don't think that would be a thing that would just. Not never come up again. Fair. Um, the title card, is it green because of the ESG theme? Hasn't it been green all season? Yeah, that's what I mean. Is it green this season? Oh, yeah, yeah. ESG oh, theme? I thought that was, yeah, yeah. Ah, I didn't. Yeah, I just thought, were, I, first, I just thought they were playing around the colors. Because nah. it was white season one, right? And red season two. Red season two. But, no, I think this season I was just like, okay, so it, it is. Green. Right? Yeah. Actually, I forgot to come to that. Um, again, this is why I said I'm so, I'm so happy that you guys actually listen to my takes because... I'm an idiot. Uh, Aurora is energy secretary. That's what yeah. you said. Yes. Yeah. And she was, but she was health or she was going to be offered health at the end of season two. Yeah. So again, just little changes. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought the music was so good in this episode. Yeah. I don't know, like, yeah. know if there were needle drops or like the original Nathan McKay works, but like it was just so good. The music the was really good. Yeah. The end on the jets. Yeah. It was just really good. That um, was really good. Yeah. Guess I think that Harper's, was an evil drop, but the... Yeah. And I also have the one when they go from the golf course to everywhere they go to. Eric on the golf course. I mean, it there. Guess Harper's boyfriend's name. Guess how he's credited. <laughs> I don't know. Jake. What's his name? Okay, I don't know. What's let his name? It, let put it, okay, let me put it this way. It's a first name and a moniker. So it's A-O-V dash. Douche? That would have been funny. Dave the Socialist. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> oh, oh, God. That's okay, really, really let's talk good. About, let's talk about Harper. And yes, quickly. There's no sweet just, pea in this episode. Boo. Sweet, Maybe that's why I didn't like it. Oh, my God. There is mention of sweet pea. Oh, we didn't like it because there, there was no Rishi. No, it's sweet pea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you say so, I'm just saying. Sweet Pea was in the first two seasons and you like those. So maybe, yeah. it's, maybe it's Rishi. <laughs> it's uh, okay, let's answer just talking about yeah, Harper and Yaz quickly because we kind of see more see, see more about the evolution of their friendship, right, in this mm-hmm. episode. Um, I quickly wrote down that like them being so close is, is so great, but I can't wait for it to fall apart. Bruh. And because. that's why I'm so scared to be invested because <laughs> I just know they are going to fight. <laughs> And I'm sad in advance. The way I was basically so when Harper comes to the party and she asks Yaz to like introduce her to Otto Mustin and Yaz is like, Can you wait? But she still does it, but not in like in a begrudging way. But she obviously storms off when that guy says that thing. And the way I was willing Harper to go after Yaz, <laughs> like I was like, Harper, do not choose business of like I was like, so you're saying you're trying not to game. I'm already invested. You're already I'm already invested. <laughs> I fully expected her to stay, and I'll be like, "Yeah, I knew, Bro, it. I knew." It. Yeah, I was, uh, so I was, that was like, "We, I was like, how we just go?" I was like, "How to As if I could control, I was like, "How about just go?" And then, obviously, she goes, and then they have that. I'm always so invested in these guys whenever they're friendships. Either it's like Harper and Robert, or Harper and Goss, or Yasmin and Harper. I was like, I just, I don't know, I don't know what it is. But like, I was like, yeah. Um, she mentions Nikki Beach. Yeah. And then they flash to the boat or the yacht. Yeah, on the yacht, yeah. Do you think we could get a full flashback episode? I think there's enough footage for a full flashback <laughs> episode. I think I think we'll probably get... I don't know about a full flashback episode, though. I don't know. That's a really so, tough one. Because based on the way the show moves, uh-huh. like the forward propulsion is just... Like it's constantly moving forward. Yeah, unless it's like, maybe it won't be if maybe the whole episode won't be a full flashback, but like we'll yeah. see the flashbacks in chronology. Yes, yes. So I think like we'll that see could happen. The, maybe the first half would actually just be what happened on the yacht and then we yeah. come or it or it's cutting. I don't know what they would do. But as we've mentioned this season, they're taking some different swings in their filmmaking style. Like we've never seen flashes, we've never seen going to someone's head. So they're doing things. Um I think I'll just Marley takes uh that 
Adam Le- Le- Levy. Levy, I think, because his wife, who plays Yasmin's dad, is credited as the main cast after every episode he appears in. So, oh, okay. And then there's an episode titled Nikki Beach, quite literally. Yeah. Coming up. So, so that was, I was like, oh, do we get more of this? Okay. Yasmin and Mark, what were your thoughts on this? How do you think Yasmin sees herself? That was what I was hmm. thinking about this whole episode. I was thinking about this episode, Yasmin's work insecurity. I don't know if those two things are connected or not. I think they are. But, I think they are. Yes. When you say Caesar, so what do you mean? What are the options? I don't know. Because, um, so with your, with your theme on the work insecurity, it starts with, am I only on this flight? Because... It starts before then. When she's on her phone with oh. her friend, her friend is like, thank God you have the peer point job. Peer job, point job. Yeah. And immediately she texts Eric, like, why is Robert like, coming? Yeah, why is Robert coming? Fair. I hadn't even put those two together. That's fair. Yeah. Um, also, <laughs> Eric's a fuckboy. <laughs> I think we'll talk about Eric. We'll talk about Eric. We'll talk about Eric. Sometimes in the random section, but... We'll talk about Eric. Eric. <laughs> but like... So it I starts like there. Young, I, I don't fuck like an old man, though. Right? Ken Long's delivery of that is beyond perfect because, like, you 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 think he's joking, you think he's like about to smirk, but like he's hundred percent serious when he says yeah. that. Yeah, he means it. <laughs> we'll we'll get there. Um, but we'll get there. I'm about how Yasmin sees how. So basically, starting with the, you know, the work insecurity, asking why Robert is coming on the trip, asking mm. whether Jesse. Sorry, not mm-hmm. Jesse. Henry <laughs> asked for her specifically. Yeah. Um, when his abhorrent friend uh asks her whether mm-hmm. or, or states she that he thought dad. that he was just no, not even killing her dad. Stating stating that he just he thought that she was just Henry's girlfriend. Okay. After yeah. she says he's uh you know, the an banker. investment banker. I think all of that throughout the episode was just i was just thinking about it like how does she actually see herself and maybe maybe the real question is just is she insecure about like her place here but i think the only reason she might okay not the only reason but a reason she might feel insecure at work is because she no longer has the backing of daddy's money Mm -hmm. it's gone so that that scene the way i read it was oh Oh, this boat has come. Actually, I have no money. Oh shit! Let me make sure my job is secure. Like mm, it wasn't okay. even. That's that's the way I, I I read it. And then, are we allowed to skip forward to yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark? Okay. What's up, yes, going, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And then going throughout the whole experience with like Henry when she's trying to basically assert that she's only here in a professional capacity, mm-hmm. which you know I believed. Up until she gets into the pool with him, mm-hmm. why does she get into the pool with him? That's that's where that's when I began to like. Okay, what what is actually happening? Is it as simple <laughs> as she just finds him attractive? Like she she wants to. So I think yes, but I also think she's always she's. Yasmin thinks. I mean, last episode she peed in the toilet. That's kind yeah. of like a sex thing. I think yeah. she she wants to she wants to use his obvious attractive attractiveness for her to make herself indisposable to him or at least essential to him. Like at least to me, even the way I was read, reading the jet, like I, I felt like at least Marisa Bella was played in a way where she was trying to seduce him or look seductive, seductively at him. And this is the first time when they're flying to Switzerland. Mm. Um, so I definitely think she wanted to at least play that card. I don't know if she knew how far she was going to go. I don't think she even wanted to go that far until like he he trauma trauma dumps on trauma her. Trauma dumped on her. <laughs> <laughs> but I think she definitely wants she she she's aware of again. Remember remember what what she did. What happens in season two? She's kind of aware of her sexuality and her position here, and she knows that he he quite literally said, "I want to seduce you." Mm-hmm. And like, she knows that he responded well to her quote unquote power play. So I think she wanted to at least 
let's keep let's keep you interested. That's fair. So I, but then uh-huh. that's that tracks for me up until the the plane ride back home. Because oh, I think she she yeah, sorry, I go feel ahead. I feel like to do that in front of Eric. Doesn't that not undermine her position like with him? Okay, so two things. One, I would say, actually, maybe three things. This is all just me reaching out, obviously. Mm-hmm. I think one, Mock is the real boss, isn't he? Keep him happy. For now, but like if the, if the, they expect Lumi to go out of business, she said so. Fair, yeah. He says, like, sell it now before two, it goes to zero. Two, um, she's also just seen Harper walk over Eric at this breakfast. I don't know if that reduces her estimation of Eric or anything. Okay. Okay. But then I think three. She saw. She knows what Eric did last night. Like she saw. She walked, she came to knock on the Eric's door. And like he had glitter on his face. Like she. Yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. Not like, a client. Like it's not at work. Do you know what I mean? But it's not at work now. It's just yes, like, it is. Yes, it is. It's in front it's of only, your boss. That's it's crazy it's to me. Anyways, <laughs> maybe I'm a bit of a prude. <laughs> <laughs> Is your thing like on a this isn't right level or like this is wrong? I don't know how to put it like this is like not morally, like do what you want, but Mm -hmm. I'm just surprised that she would do that first of all that soon because I thought she would enjoy her power over Mock a bit longer. The way she did that, she lost her power in that pool. How though? How? He threw up on it. He won. He won it. Like he literally said, "I do not believe what the press has said about you. You don't believe." I give me that honor. Me like that's like game. that was really good. That's she, such. That was such a good yeah, speech. Yeah, I, I was. I was. Yeah, he won. She, he 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 turned the table over. He was like, "You don't know me. That's not your power. Like you think you know me, but I'm the one in charge here. Like everything you think about, you know about me is wrong." Like respect me, so I think she loses her power stance in that in that pool. Mm. But just quickly, before on your point, if the door of the jet like properly closed and Eric couldn't see, would that have changed anything you're you're thinking of right now? It changes a lot. So it's not her fault that she doesn't know the door hasn't closed. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you get what I mean. Like I get what like, you mean. Like, but my my whole thing was like. If you want to be taken seriously at work, why mm-hmm. make it seem like you're only useful to this man because he can't sleep with you? Like I mean, just, she did for me, it went against everything that happened in the beginning of the episode of her trying to assert herself as a good investment banker. I get what you're saying, but she has also just brought in the new fund, this Harper and Petra fund. I was thinking about that. Yeah. So she's also like proven she's herself. Up right now. That's fair. Yeah, she's she's up. Very big, you're right. Very big up episode for Jasmine. She is. <laughs> Man, well, Eric is down, down. Um, uh, yeah, no, okay. Yeah, Yasmin and Mark as well. Let's just focus on them for a bit. So, I have a filmmaking theory that the pool is one of the most erotic settings, or rather, a body of water. I've, this has been brewing for a, a year or so. I've been watching different things, but I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's you loved Shape if, of Water, didn't you? I hate a ship of water. Let's not okay, let's not okay. get into this. Okay, good. No, I'd be saying if I was watching this, but <laughs> I, I hate a ship of water. I hate it. Find out it won best picture of our get out. Let's not get into this. No, but like I remember every, I, now every time I see two characters in a pool, like I almost expect them to do something. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the constant motion of the the waves or the fact that like when you're in a pool, you're already kind of vulnerable because you're you're half naked or whatever. But there is some I, there is something. I remember even like I don't know what it is. I don't know how to describe it. It's just I remember watching the Jennifer Lawrence Brand Ty Henry Henry um film. Can't remember the name. The scene there was like, this is just it evokes something. I don't know what it is, but just water settings evoke something. Anyway, but yeah, let's talk about the Henry and Yasmin conversation, in which like he basically tells her about how her dad his dad killed himself and how he himself started having suicidal thoughts. And he basically painted himself as like he wanted to do this thing. He wanted to do this good thing. He didn't want to. It wasn't a scam for him. He wasn't trying to just make money. And I think we get more of that when he's finally selling his shares mm. over the phone. He has telling himself all oh, businesses fail. Um, That's so funny. You I, read very, that, I read that the other way. 
Wow. Okay. Go ahead. How did you read it? <laughs> so I watched that scene and I was like, okay, he's saying all these things about his dad. But then what he says was the only thing that could stop the suicidal ideation for him was building something of his own. Right? Yeah. That's what he says. And to me, you don't say building something of my own as opposed to building something to help people to get. Okay. So for me, it was like the only way I could stop the suicidal ideation was to have my own thing. I say, I'm creating my own way in the world. I'm not daddy's boy. Yeah, and then I him agree selling you. his shares and then, you know, it is emotional for him. But I didn't think it was for the reason of, oh, this my company has failed and I've let people down. Because honestly, I think I believe Robert from last season, sorry, from last episode. Yeah. What I read that as was, it's okay. Things fail. I can build something else that's mine. Like, do you get? Okay. No, I agree with you. I, okay. I, don't, I didn't mean as in he isn't trying to be a good person. That's not what I meant. I tried to do oh, I just meant like he, okay. he wasn't like, I don't care if this doesn't work out. I'll just tell my share. Like he wanted the business to work out. Yeah, I think I think he did want. I think he did. Which want I guess if the business work. does yeah. work out, then it means it does some good. But I don't think his yeah. primary intention going in was to do some good. Yeah, I think he yeah. just wanted the business to work out. I think yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, and I think yeah. I don't know. It's like it's so funny because when that scene ends, and then Yasmin is like, "I haven't had sex in five months." By the way. Um, Matthew McConaughey from Wolf of Wall Street. Yasmin, those are those are rookie numbers. Need to get those numbers up. I don't know what you're complaining about. Five months. Um, and he's like, and you're still breathing, or whatever he says, and you're still okay, or whatever. Yeah, I thought that was him. Yeah. I thought I was him rebuffing her. I thought I was him. I kind of like dead in it. I'm like, that's not what I want from you. Interesting. I didn't know what to make of that line because I I was just like, I'm not rich enough to understand what I that mean, means. I mean, it invited like five seconds later when they do whatever they do on the jet. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, I thought that was just him being like, I, I never really wanted that from you. That's not true because he he wanted it. He immediately yeah. said it. Yeah. In episode one. Oh, rather, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, so I was like, okay, maybe he sees him or, or maybe her actions had made him disillusioned of the fact, maybe like, again, how she judged him too quickly or whatever. But anyway, obviously, mm. it doesn't matter because on the jets the next morning they are they are busy you were very high on mocking episode two what is what are your feelings now i was high on the way the character is written i think he's a scumbag i think that's still that's, I still i'm not feel saying sick. that i'm not saying that you have mock your breast on your window like yeah. you, you see him every morning i mean i know as a, as a character you were high on him. Yeah, I'm still I'm still very high on he's him. I think, he's, I think he's excellent. I think he's so I love how you just instantly try to distance yourself as if I'm saying that he's your role model. That's not yeah, because you're actually saying some bullshit, man. You're like, oh he wanted to do good. No, he's never wanted to do good. He only wants to do good to I, himself. Yeah. I'm sorry if I didn't make that clear enough. I was not trying to say that he's trying to do good. I don't think anybody is trying to do good. When that person comes, we will we will discuss that person. Um, I just meant that he didn't want to create the business and just big IPO sell my shares. Like he wanted the business to be successful, and obviously it wasn't. Um, I like the little. Yeah, I'm still very high on him. Um, do you know? I was thinking about this, and this guy has never once defended the fundamentals of his business. <laughs> Every time someone says, "What's going on, Henry?" and he's just like, "Yo, yo, we're democratizing. We are." <laughs> We are doing some stuff, bro. <laughs> he has never once. So I don't, I don't That's even a, know. I don't even know. This, if... His board said it. He's a good salesman. He's a, he's good for getting funded. He's, he like, is. um, I like the little dance that Yasmin does after her call with Harper in the bedroom when Yapa, <laughs> Yapa went, hmm, Yapa. Yapa. Hmm. I'm going to have to squeeze or something. <laughs> when Harper basically gives her, says they'll give her the job and she does a little dance. Again, I think it's part of the work insecurity. She's happy I to finally so, have, yeah. have some, some work by her name. Okay. Speaking of Harper. Um, oh, actually a line. I just wanted to shout out when Mock says to Yasmin, you have no idea how in your bones exhausted it is pretending nothing is wrong. And Yasmin's like, have you seen my last year? Like, it's like, who do you think you're talking to? Okay, Harper and Petra. So, the amount of times Harper has made me pause this show because of her her, her actions. (laughs) Like, the amount of times I'm watching an episode, I just pause it because Harper has just made me so, like, stressed. 
let let let's just start. Let's start at the conference. When what was your what was your initial reaction when Harper raises her hand? Asks what, what do you think? What do you think my reaction was? I screamed. I screamed. <laughs> I screamed. Gosh, Harper is so this this woman, man. This woman I don't know how this show so continues stressful. to its week in week out because the way my heart was beating when the hold recommendation came in. And, you know, just the little shots of different people finding out my heart. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. doop, 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 doop. And then Harper raises her hand. I'm like, man, it's over. But then her question is so devastating. It is so devastating. It's so layered. It's it, it like she has different points. She has so many. That's it, killing. like a paragraph long quest. She's killing them. First of all, the Anna's on stage and she's like, hi, I'm Harper. Out of, <laughs> me and Petra are staring you for an out of future done. Anna was on stage. Petra's Anna like, didn't say a word. The whole panel. Everybody else. All the men spoke. Anna didn't speak. I think that was intentional. I think she's just there as a figurehead. So. I, didn't, I didn't catch that. That was funny. So, um, so she says Petra's that. Petra's like, Petra is like, bitch, into, what are you doing? Lays into PeerPoint as an institution. Is it a random salesperson from, a, from an American investment bank? Bruh. Bruh. Oh gosh! Harper. I think I think there's been too many red flags so far for Petra. She has refused to heed them, so whatever she mm-hmm. sees, she should collect with both hands. Okay, so let's talk about this in conjunction with with the, with the breakfast. We use we'll talk about the breakfast as well. So, but first of all, I mean, just on that panel, the moment like <laughs> the moment Harper mentions the hold recommendation, <laughs> Yasmin and Robert's reaction. <laughs> Yasmin is like pacing back and forth with her hand in her head. <laughs> Yasmin can't believe it. Um, okay, so um, okay. No, actually, before we go to breakfast, let's talk about basically how these guys get money because Harper does what she does, and look, the universe keeps rewarding her. This is why she keeps on doing what she does. It's true. Um, it's true. But even before that, before the breakfast, part of the red flags, which we will talk about as well, um, the glee on Harper's face when she's hiding from Eric and Anna. Like, she's so invigorated. Petra <laughs> needs... Lars. <sighs> Petra. Anyway, Petra. Talk about Petra, Petra so, we warned you. Um, do you know who Eric Roberts is? The actor. Um, Julia Roberts' brother. I think if you Google him, I think you would know his face because he okay. was shows that you liked and stuff like that. But I'm calling, so Otto Mustin and the other person, I'm calling him Evil Eric Roberts. Peter. If that's his name. I'm calling him Evil Eric So they arrive at Petra's hotel room door with Otto Mustin reciting King Lear. Incredible. Felt on Otto Mustin. I am beginning to love him. Maybe I more than so Musk. Well. <laughs> Maybe more than Musk. <laughs> he is so... I'm- fun he brings so much fun to every scene he's in i love that you just called mock musk that's hilarious to me <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> mock. <laughs> uh, mock. um he brings so i was watching this fun to every scene i was, I was like ayo is gonna love auto mustard i, was I, like, I didn't want to say it in the last mustard. episode but when he said the bylaws or the rules of bitches be is, uh, is that if you bring a bitch you have to mu- i was like what Let's go. Let's bro, go. He has, bro, when he's like, um, you're a diminutive woman. Like, that's why you couldn't be invited to this to this party or you're not influential enough. Yeah. Bro, I wish yeah, they had that... been brave enough to just say black there. <laughs> because because that's what I was thinking. I mean, that's what I'm thinking as well, but I don't think that's what he means. Mm. Interesting. Like, again, we've had this discussion like almost every time we talk about this show, like this show, or rather these people care more about class than, than race. Than, than race. Like, I, 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 because even the way he, like he's talking about her and Petra and it's just it's like, what's a picture? Um, <laughs> what a great what, line. What, 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 what do you have to say? Same, different faces, same taste, something like that. Same great taste or something like that. That just makes him laugh. Oh yeah. I and, but, um, but yeah, did, I thought Peter, that is his friend, reminded mm-hmm. me a bit of the computer from the bear. <laughs> that was that's the dynamic I think they have. Or well, as in like the, um, that in the computer and uncle. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, I guess. Otto must yeah. Have, have, have yeah. 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 Otto came in recite, reciting King Lear. He's like, he said, I spoke to my 
mutual friend that he says, you're one of the bandits. I was like, oh, okay. I love that scene. I think that was probably my favorite scene in the episode. It was such a good scene. It was like, when he's like, Peter, why didn't you let Petra show you through her her last five years? And then Mm -hmm. when they come back and they're like, the the numbers check out, it's like, hmm, I'm like interested in like funding your fund, godfathering you. Mm -hmm. It's just, I was like, I'm fully on board with this man, man. He's fully on board an with abhorrent him. human being. <laughs> yeah, he is. But, but yeah, um, I'm on board. Which leads us to the breakfast. Um, what's Petra thinking? How is nothing. she not heeding this red flag? Nothing. She can't be thinking. Maybe How? she's just thinking about money. <laughs> I mean, first of all, if you ever wanted, listeners, if you ever wanted proof that we don't watch ahead, the fact that Ayo suggested and I agreed with him last week that this season was going to be Harper versus, versus Eric. Eric, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's proof that we don't watch ahead. But why does Petra agree to this? Like, she, first of all, she knows the hard-on that Harper has for peer points. She told then, Harper to park it. So maybe she's and, assuming Harper has parked it. But, but during this breakfast, you can clearly see so the vendetta it. Harper has. Like, there are other banks. You can go to Goldman, you can go to Morgan Stanley, you don't have to use peer points. Like it's Petra, so obvious. You, you are not like you. Like, there's so many red flags here. I'm not so built many. for this. Petra is actually not built for this. Which is, I was thinking, I was like, huh, could this be a season of like, I don't know. I I, I feel like maybe it's a bit too repetitive. It was just like Harper takes down another person in her wake. <laughs> but like, and I just everybody, don't see everybody how, gangs up against her. I don't see a season how Petra gets out of this. I don't know. I don't think she does. That breakfast with Harper, yeah. Petra, Yasmin, and Eric. Mm-hmm. I didn't fully appreciate this before that scene. Mm-hmm. But Harper hates that man. I was going to say the same thing. She despises him. And it brings her so much joy to crush him. Eric? And look Eric. Look at me, Eric. I love that Eric was so stunned by what was happening. He didn't even look at Harper. He was looking directly at Petra. And so good acting. on his face was a little bit of shock. But I read concern. He's like, bro, are you okay? Like, Petra, are you okay? Because I've been there. I know what this is like. So you're right, because I as well did not fully appreciate it. Because I was just like, oh yeah, he fired her. <laughs> Maybe it should have been, if not over it, but like, I didn't realize that it, she held this much of a grudge. And like, she is like, and even, even from Eric, he's, you say concern. I was also kind of like, I thought he was also kind of, I don't know if he's shaking in his boots, but it was just like, I think it was also kind of rage, but a different kind of rage from him. Yeah. Like he could, he couldn't look at her. He could not look at, at, at her, but I think he was afraid of her. I think he was just like, I don't know what I'll do if I look at you and like, but I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what emotions were going through Eric's head in that situation. I can't, I can't imagine. But Harper is like, Harper's vendetta is too much. I can't believe Petra has not. She like, needs to she back up now. <laughs> because she can see this, <sighs> this is going to end badly, especially with Yasmin in the mix. <laughs> yes. Yasmin, Yasmin, Poor babe is doing her best. She's trying to be like, looking at Russia. Like, what going on? I beg, I beg, I beg. She's trying to do business. I beg, I beg. I need my yeah. commissions. I beg. Yeah, I'm saying, well, with the cut, with the relationship that Harper and I have, maybe well, Harper and Erica don't do their own. <laughs> Meanwhile, Harper, Harper was looking directly, directly at Eric. Said, and I'll expect you to pick up the phone every time. Hi, bruh, bruh. But that's the thing, because I was, I was trying, I'm, I was trying to, I don't know if it's because, because you're right, because I'm, what you said, I was thinking about it through since I watched the episode. I don't know if it's because we know, like we, it's funny because every time we've discussed that finale, even when the guys did the previous episode, every question has been, why did Eric do this? Uh-huh. It's never been, how would Harper feel about this? That's fair. Be- because to us, Eric has always been justified in doing this. <laughs> right, whether, mean, whether it's I mean also it's just in the real world <laughs> yes but to... whether it's because of the fraud or because she's a danger to herself or because he might she might stab him in the back or because mm. she did insider trading 
any of, reason. Any of the reasons. <laughs> but no one has no one has ever asked how would because we all just, I think we all just stupidly assumed that Harper would understand, which makes no sense. Of course, Harper would not understand. She wouldn't. That's fair. So it's like the vendetta which she's going with at him with is is insane. It's it was actually pure venom. That might be my and it, favorite scene in the episode, actually. And it's so funny because there was no ink like the only time, obviously, even when she calls him, there was no real inkling of this. It's not like anybody said, Oh, how do you feel about seeing Eric at the conference? Or she's like, Oh, Eric's gonna be there. Nothing. There's been no inkling that she has this emotion towards Eric until this scene. Like I thought, I thought it was gonna be like a gloating scene, like yeah, Same. I'm in charge, and Eric would be like, "Well, nothing I can do." Same. We'll print your business. Money is money, but this was like this was intense. She wanted to was, dominate him. I mean, well done to everybody involved. Well done to Mihala. Well done to Ken Long. Honestly, well done to Sarah Gardner and Marisa Bella because it's difficult to just be awkward in, in a scene like that, <laughs> bruh. Uh, but no, but the thing is like. Maybe I'm giving Petra too much credit, but I do believe Petra was seeing, because her face looked at the point, she was like, what is going on here? I feel like she was seeing something. Maybe she doesn't want to hit them because of the money. Yeah. But I feel like she was noticing something. Maybe issues. she'll wait until they've raised enough money and then, but yeah, I feel like Harper's just going to, Harper's going to hurt <clears throat> her. And yeah, I kind of like Petra so far, so it's making me sad in advance. So even the way she, t- she speaks is incredible. Uh, <laughs> remember she was talking to the, Get Jesus out of some sandals. I need to some Jordans. <laughs> Did that remind you of any shows? <laughs> um, wait, no. What show should you remind me of? A certain Betty Gilpin show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Mrs. Davis. By the way, that's in there. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that's yeah. so funny. Yeah, that's get so Jesus funny. in some Jordans right now. <laughs> Okay, so to wrap up, the name that Harper pitches for their new font is Leviathan. One of my favorite words, by the way. Go ahead. So do you know the like etymology of this word? Like, it's you know where like it comes a Greek. From? It's in Greek. It's like a monster, right? Yeah. Okay, let me read the description from Wikipedia of the Leviathan, and then let me know if any of these parts mean anything to you. The Leviathan is a sea serpent noted in theology and mythology. It is referenced in several books of the Hebrew Bible. The Leviathan is often an embodiment of chaos, <laughs> threatening to eat the damned when their lives are over. Period. It, in the end, it is annihilated. Christian theologians identify Leviathan with the demon of the deadly sin, Envy. Ah, oh, nasty. I love that. <laughs> So many things like the chaos, the damn when their lives are over. Is Eric's life over? <laughs> it's um, gonna eat him up. It, I mean, in, but in the end, it is annihilated. Envy. I'm just like, this is a lot. Um, TV writers are so smart, man. Just be dropping random Shakespeare quotes and Leviathan references. Anyway, yeah. Um, should we talk about just Robert quickly before we leave? Or maybe, yeah. Quickly. Maybe Eric. <laughs> Do you think that was his first time on a... First of all, I'm happy I got my body comedy with Eric and Robert. I'm... <laughs> I wish for it last week. It happened this week. I'm going to make another wish this week and hopefully it happens Oh, next. wait. What TV show did you watch this week? We didn't mention that. Or you didn't? I have not watched anything apart from Evil. Okay. Which we talking talk about, about as a good. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, very happy I got my little body comedy. It was really good. It was really good. The room. Um, do you think that was Robert's first time on a PJ? It's very possible, but also maybe not. Like maybe he just act like it. and I was like, "Damn, this nigga got more composure than me." I would have been <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> but I think through, um, yeah, through like just through work, probably. I'm sure if it's yeah. been like six months since, since they went public. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of Robert's. Styling oh, this episode. Oh, no, no, not styling. the other. I, I'm not a fan of the sweater vest and suit jacket. Okay. I didn't, that's, I that's didn't a, know you had standards. Sorry. Wow. That's just I'm the only sorry, thing. I just didn't know. I didn't know you had standards. I just think, I just think choose what. That's that my only thing. <laughs> Jeez. 
But it's Watch not a big guys. thing. Joan, what was her name? The fashion police lady. Joan Rivers? Joan Rivers. <laughs> Watch out, guys. Um, anyway. Uh, this was an interesting episode for Robert because of how sexually charged it was with Frank mm-hmm. Wade. Mm-hmm. Especially in the sauna, which, you know, do you think they wrote and filmed that pre or post challenges? <laughs> oh, why didn't I put that together? I mean, they definitely did it before challenges. I know well, they but... did it before challenges, but come on. That is, it was so challenging. Do you think when, ta- better question, do you think when challenges come out, they were like, shit. We're like, <laughs> Are we going to go think <laughs> we copied them? <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought we had this sexually charged sauna scene. It was meant to be us. <laughs> That's exactly what I called it in my notes. Which one did you prefer? This one or the challenges one? Uh, challenges one. But that, that's easy because we do both characters there are important in the challenges fair. one. That's fair. This one is just it's just Frank Wade. <laughs> yeah. It was like, yeah. Um, um Yeah. Do you think he spent the night with Frank? I was gonna ask the same question. I don't know. He doesn't give any inclination that he did. But that might be yeah. because of what you were saying about Yasmin, about him not wanting Eric to think that. But yeah, I don't know. It might be a long time thing. Again, I don't know if you just, maybe you don't just cast Joe Kim Booster for one episode. Maybe you do. I don't know. Just <laughs> to show that you're, you're HBO. Um, Is he canonically by Robert? Mm. Yes, in the sense that we know he's at least done something with a guy in season one. From season one. Okay. Yeah, okay, the I mail, like, and he, he blew him. That's all we, yeah, so, but yeah. Um, but that, that was it for him, really. He was mm-hmm, on a day. Yeah. <laughs> he talked to Frank twice. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, yeah, I feel like first, Frank, and he was on a jet. I feel like the Frank thing should probably he might go on. It might I'm surprised with this end. But like he has a very important line in the in the Jets. Where he's like, I feel like everything would have to happen the same way if we're not here. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible line reading. I love that. Um okay, that's it for me on Robert. Yeah. I want to talk about Eric so badly. Because that's about Eric. <laughs> did you know he was a fuck boy? He's a fuck boy. He's a fuck boy. I think we're <laughs> yeah, in different yeah, places. It's it's post divorce. He's just trying to find himself. He's trying to like. Why? I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh my god! I enjoyed him so much in this episode because he was. Why do you think he? Why do you think him and his wife broke up? Maybe she called him old. <laughs> maybe she said he felt like an old man. Maybe, I mean, maybe she fell in love with a younger man. So my my inclination was that he was never really someone that cheated. Because of how difficult it was for him to do it in the American episode. Okay. When I'm going back to New York. Like, this was his ex. And, like, he did it. What made you laugh? It's so funny. Because I read that completely the other way around. <laughs> okay. And this is my thing about, like, married people in, in yeah. fiction now that cheating. Because I'm just like, the fact that he cheated, that means he fucking cheat. He cheat. I don't yeah, care how it was for him. There used to be a first time for everything. No, and then he went to hug his child. It's fucking nasty. No, I'm not it's defending that. <laughs> yeah, no. Pers- I know, I know. I know. I, know. I get your point. Like, maybe it was his first time. It was tough. But the fact that he can do it. Look, I think that first time just opened the floodgates. That was what I was, good. That was, that was, what I was aiming at. Maybe the, him doing that was what opened the floodgates. And then in the month since, he probably did mm-hmm. it more. And that's what, maybe that's what led to them breaking up. To them breaking because up. Because we, we know they did break up because of what he said to her. Because he has said a lot of terrible things to her. And it's also interesting if you do it in, how long do we say the time skip between the seasons was? I think we said about eight months. That's not that long for a marriage to break down. Mm-hmm. Not really. Although, I sh- we should mention Especially that American not episode. Not for rich people. Yeah, but that American episode, she is a lot more cold to him cold. than she was in season when she was like, when she's brushing her teeth, that she's like, our girls need you and everything. So, Mm. I could understand that they were already on the way down at that mm. point, if that was the argument. Fair. Um, yeah. What do you yeah. think his thing about? So there are two things Eric was harping on. No pun intended. Age and snow. Yeah. What do you think the snow uh, thing is about? Good. Good point. I think the snow thing is just. I don't know. Maybe just. Maybe the writer just like let's find something to. 
I don't know. I can't because I don't know, I don't know if it's it important well. because it seems really weird to me for them to be like, oh, Lumi is in such danger. Also, sidetrack. You said last week that the show is churning through the Lumi plot and is dead essentially it's in done. this episode. It's, over. it's done, yeah. which is crazy to me. Anyways, um, the, everybody's like, oh, Lumi is um in danger because like natural gas prices are gonna spike. And then mm. if they pass that on, will they be able to whatever? But why would natural gas prices spike if we're having an unusually warm winter? You're going to have to walk me through this. Hold my hand. Because like if winter, if you're not, if the winter is not cold, yeah. you need less gas for heating, which is less demand. But Swiss are having a naturally um, warm winter does not mean it's worldwide now not worldwide but like if switzerland is having a warm winter the uk is likely to have one because it's all like western europe isn't it okay i'm going to go away for it anyways i was <laughs> like that seems a bit weird and the snow thing was also weird to me because i was like hmm. i think the snow thing might just be him he wanted a maybe a change of pace and he was he, he came fixes fixed it on seeing snow again it's come from london where it Fair. doesn't happen often so Maybe just wondered. Maybe that was just something. It was okay. nothing, but also everything. If that makes Over sense. under on it being important later. I think it's going under. to be important. Okay, fair enough. I think I'm it's more. It. I think it might be more about his character. Like for example, I think his drinking is coming back at some point it in is. this plot. It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. Do you think so, he decides not to drink on the jet because he sees the yeah. looks? Hundred percent. A thousand percent. Yeah, not, that, that was not like an inbuilt thing. <laughs> he no, didn't just me, was like, I think, no, I think no, he, he was like, oh, he was like, oh, was like these guys are judging me. So this yeah. is the stuff I'm talking about. Like, why would you? Have, anyways, anyways. Um, but I also think since to Eric would not care. I think this Eric is a lot, which is why I'm afraid that this might be the the downfall of Eric. Like of Eric, think, yeah, I think you're right. Because when like, when he was in the breakfast with um Harper and Petra, I was just like. This is the worst morning of this man's life. Bring, bring the bad boy back. Because he's no longer he a bad boy. Why didn't he pay? I don't know. <laughs> I don't like, know. he has the money. Like, he, still, he still had to wait there. He'll come back and yeah. pay her. Like, why? I think he was going to come back and pay her. Yeah, I'm saying, why didn't you just pay at a point? Like, just pay now. I don't know. She wanted to do Coinbase. <laughs> 20, 20K is insane, though. He, he's actually he's insane, the one that wanted to kiss and do it now. He deserves yeah, to but, pay that much. <laughs> But the total was 19k. I was like, let's just call it 20k. I'm like, sure there's like, other stuff. I'm sure there's other yeah. stuff that she wasn't charging for. And she was like, anyways, let's just let's just call it 20. Fair enough. That's a price. Freaky ass. 69 guy. <laughs> he's he's post divorce. He's finding himself. Only the case of um, Dreynal is crazy. <laughs> because to me, they're like. <laughs> well, one or the other. Not one or the other, but it's just like. That means he wanted everything. <laughs> it oh, was yeah, not like yeah. a particular type of night. Yeah, like, yeah, he, he, he did you know she that? was an escort when she No, no. Yeah. I didn't know until she asked for her money. I think he misses he probably misses that connection of like something stable, which is probably why he was with Yasmin's friend by all accounts, by by our maths for almost seven months. <laughs> <laughs> by our maths, yes, for a while. Yes. That's fair. Um, mm. I loved him impersonating Robert. <laughs> I loved him like, impersonating it's Robert. It's like Robert's Robert scary. Scary, everyone. And Robert, Robert, Robert was just on this comedy. Robert, Harry Nelson was like, I've given you guys two episodes of strong dramatic acting. I'm just going to be funny this episode. <laughs> Don't piss me. That was really good. I, I, that was the funniest funniest moment in the episode for me because he looked this, so this was So your question about is the industry better than the, funnier than the bear? This was a very funny episode. I don't even think it's a question anymore. Industry is funnier than the bear. <laughs> it is. Oh, no, this was a very it is funny hilarious. Episode. Okay. Um, um, yeah, that else? was it for me on Eric. I just didn't know he was a fuckboy. Yeah. I'm intrigued to see what happens next. Just how he tries to acclimatize with this new setting. This new power, power dynamics. Yeah. Um, Really I think good. We covered episode. everything. Yeah, I think I think, think we covered everything. I don't think I have any. Okay, no, I had one note around Henry. I was like, do you think he has ever slept with Katie? 
no, but I also think because of how emotional vulnerable he was in episode with, two yes. to her. That, oh, okay, with, with her, yeah. Like when when he's like, um, what is he saying? Like, Tell me everything's going to be okay. But also the way I wish he dismisses everything feels like someone who is not, who doesn't feel like she's going to be replaced. Mm. Like she's just fine. I've seen I've seen multiple of these. Like this is not Fair. a big deal for me. Like we we're not on that on that level. Katie wasn't. I was trying to remember where you are from, but she was in season three of Slow Horses. Yes. So yeah, she was. Yeah. Oh, good eye. I didn't remember. I was just like, I know you very well, oh, but I don't remember. Oh, it wasn't why. a good eye. I had I had to Google. I'm oh. not take advantage. <laughs> um, do you think the Adler thing? This this is conspiracy theory, Connor. Quickly, Adler thing is just that he didn't want to come right. I think he could read the yeah. writing on the because wall. Because in the second episode, he there's that part where Eric is like, Bill, you've already said that. And I'm like, he's maybe maybe he's too young for them for them to be doing the thousand miles plot. But oh. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I was just like I'm just again conspiracy theory conspiracy yeah. corner. Uh, okay. I think that was it. We've we've done our due diligence. That's it. We've done the um, DD. I've looked at Banky's trading record. Trading records. Uh, you didn't ask how I got them. Just know I have them. Uh, <laughs> that trauma. <laughs> She's in danger. Anyways, here's hoping we get a Sweet P Yasmin buddy comedy at some point this season. Sweet P, I missed you. Sweet Come P, back. go lightly. Sweet go P. Go lightly. What a, what go a good lightly. name. Go lightly. What a good name. Uh, what do you think Treacle's surname is? I'm s- I love them. I can't believe you brought back Treacle. I forgot what I love Treacle. treacle. <laughs> you, you don't want Treacle? Fine. <laughs> do you want to do over headlines? <laughs> oh, do you have over headlines? Of- I didn't. I didn't have any over headlines, uh, but I have my yeah. worst line in the episode. I wrote that one down. <laughs> Thanks for these nuts. Oh, straight to jail. Straight to jail. <laughs> But his delivery is so good. <laughs> it's really good. His really delivery is so good. <laughs> Straight to jail. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, there's also the quite insightful line about Harper telling Petra that you don't have to be a people person. No, you just you just didn't find your people yet. So, Aww. snake. <laughs> it's gonna go so She's bad for Petra. She's gonna, gonna kill go her. So bad for Petra. Anyway. We'll be back next week um, for episode four with a special guest and also Daniel Kaluuya. But for now, uh, guys, thank you very much for listening. Join us on our pre-cap episode. Send any questions you might have. If you have thoughts about how Petra is going to die at the hands of Harper, please let us know. Um, Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for listening and join us next week. Bye, guys.